Hello everybody, this is Quickscript Creations bringing you another Jurassic Park toy related video. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little different and that is focus on the never before released figures as well as the prototype figures. And um, this goes all the way back to the first Jurassic Park line in 1993. I'm sure some of you guys are aware of a lot of these prototypes, although even I wasn't aware of a few of them until just recently. And I think it's really interesting to just, you know, look back and observe the history of, you know, the Jurassic Park merchandise and see what worked, what didn't, what never even made it to store shelves. And there's a lot of really great and awesome figures on this list, so I thought, you know, maybe you guys weren't aware of some of them and, uh, you know, today you could learn a little bit about what we might have had, um, you know, had these figures not actually been cancelled. So first on the list, we're going to be looking up the Jungle Explorer. Now I'm sure you guys know that this figure actually was released, although the one that was released had the, you know, iconic color scheme of the vehicle that we see in the film. Uh, this one was going to be a little bit of an alternate take on it. It was going to have, you know, a yellow, black, slash gray sort of color scheme. And I think it just really looks awesome. I would have definitely, you know, picked this one up, even if I had the original one, just because of how much I like this new color, you know, the color scheme that they have going on here. And it appears from the picture that the only actual difference, except for the colors, was going to be like that netted type of grid pattern on the front windshield and of course the top as well, which I think it really uh, just, you know, complements the whole vehicle really well and the sort of design that they were going for with this one. And I'm actually rather disappointed that this one was never released because I just think it looks really cool. And you know, Jurassic Park is known for releasing repaints of their figures, you know, over and over and over a lot of the times, at least in the um, older lines. And as far as, you know, repaints go, this is one of the ones that I actually am sort of disappointed that they never released because uh, it just looks really great and uh, I would have loved to, you know, added it to my collection of other JP vehicles. So next up is a figure that I actually already featured in another video and that is the uh, Triceratops that was supposed to be released with the Lost World Series 2 line. And like I said in the other video, I just think this is a really amazing design and sculpt for the Triceratops. And aside from the original Triceratops and the recent Mattel Triceratops, uh, we haven't had a whole lot of good ones. I mean, we have had several Triceratops, but a lot of them just weren't that great looking or they seemed too small in scale to the figures. And I think this one just looks really great as far as the size of it and the design. Um, the colors even, you know, not my favorite choice, but they're still not bad. And I think this thing was going to have sort of an action feature where it moved its head or something, but I'm not actually quite sure about that. And of course it has the battle damage, which can be sealed or, you know, uncovered if you want it showing or not. And yeah, this is just one of those figures, again, that I'm really disappointed wasn't released because it seems like it was already really far along in its production and it's, you know, kind of a surprise that as cool as it looks and things like that, that it never hit store shelves. But it is what it is and another cool fact about this figure is that there actually are several prototypes of these in circulation. Um, there's a TV show where they featured two of them, I believe. And there's quite a few of these things that are known in people's collections and that were purchased. Yet, of course, if you want one, you're gonna have to pay several thousand dollars for it and find the right person willing to part with it. So good luck actually obtaining it. And up next, we have yet another figure that I actually showed in a old video of mine. If you'd seen it, um, you'll know about this one. And it's the Desert Spinosaurus that was supposed to be released along with the Camo Extreme line that followed the Jurassic Park 3 line, of course. It was mostly a line that just consisted of a bunch of repainted figures. And this one, um, you should recognize it as the Aqua Spinosaurus. This was gonna be sort of a more, I guess, realistic color job that looked a lot more similar to the Spinosaurus we saw in the films. And it was gonna be called the Desert Spinosaurus. Now, there's a lot of, like, debate and, uh, 
mystery surrounding this figure because it's believed that one actually did appear quite a few years ago and uh, it appeared on eBay and I think this was during a time where you know it was still uncertain if the figure is actually going to hit store shelves or not and one of these things appeared on eBay it sold for quite a lot of money and then no one's ever seen or heard about another one since and I just think it's really cool how uh, extremely rare and elusive some of the Jurassic Park figures are. It kind of makes you wonder, you know, whether some of these actually exist or not because of just how rare they are and, you know, how little we actually hear about them. Next up is a figure that I don't trust myself to actually pronounce the name of it. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys handle that bit. But um, this is a uh, dinosaur figure that was supposed to be released in what people believed was the uh, Chaos Effect uh, toy line, although there are some rumors that the figure had a Lost World stamp on it, which makes them wonder, you know, if it was originally supposed to be released for the Lost World and then maybe they uh, didn't have the time or whatever, so they switched it to Chaos Effect, and then of course we all know that it was never released for that one either. But um, it's actually interesting because a lot of the Chaos Effect figures, aside for a few repainted ones, most of them were like the Dino Hybrids. And I wasn't really a fan of them just because they sort of looked cartoonish and not really realistic, especially when compared alongside, you know, all the other figures that we had. They just didn't seem to really fit in well with them. But this one is actually one of the few that was based on a real dinosaur, which of course it looks very similar to the Ankylosaurus, so you know, it was in that same sort of family. And back then we really didn't have any sort of, you know, Ankylosaurus figures. And this would have been, although not exactly an Ankylosaurus, it would have been, you know, our first type of that sort of dinosaur. And it actually doesn't look too bad. I like the design of it. I like the colors. It would have fit in well with, you know, all the other dinosaurs that we have already. And uh, it's a shame it wasn't released. I'm not really sure why. But the only evidence that we have of this thing ever existing was a uh, picture that was in a Toy Fair magazine. And that's according to JP Toys, of course, where I got most of this information from. But how it is with many of these figures, you know, there's so much mystery surrounding them. Uh, I will never really know if there was anything more than, you know, a single prototype or a single, you know, illustration. We don't even know if a prototype of this thing even exists. And I think that's what makes a lot of these figures so interesting is that, you know, we really don't know anything about them, why they were never made why they sort of disappeared and it just is really intriguing to me as a uh, Jurassic Park fan and as a uh, Jurassic Park collector. Now this next figure is actually part of a line of Jurassic Park figures that was completely cancelled and uh, none of the original ones actually were released. And what's interesting about this line is that it was supposed to be, or so it's rumored to be, like a G.I. Joe slash Jurassic Park mashup type of toy line and I think that would have been actually really awesome to see because I love both G.I. Joe's and Jurassic Park so it would have been perfect for you know a collector like me and while some of these prototype figures actually went on to be released in uh, small like Toys R Us exclusive lines and that would of course be the uh, Packy Rhinosaurus and the uh, Allosaurus but there is actually another one that never did get released and this is probably one of the figures that I'm most disappointed that we never actually got and that is the uh, Carnotaurus. Now we have had quite a few Carnotauruses over the years. We've had you know the Demon Carno and then we had the Lost World one and now we have the Mattel one but just going by these few pictures here I think this one would have actually been better than any of the ones that we had and it looks like it had you know a lot of articulation. I'm actually loving the design on it it looks uh, just really great, and if the uh, Allosaurus figure that we got is any indication to go by, the quality of that figure is just mind-blowing if you haven't seen it. It's probably one of the best Jurassic Park figures ever, and I know that's saying a lot, but I, that's just how much I like it, and I think it turned out extremely well. And if that one's anything to go by, then I think this figure would have been an amazing addition as well. Now I'm sure that many of you are aware that these aren't the only prototype figures or never before released figures 
that exist out there. Um, I just wanted to sort of keep it short and focus on the ones that I found were the most intriguing or the ones that, you know, I would have liked to have had the most and that I'm sad we never actually got. If you guys, you know, do want to see a part two to this and see more prototype figures, um, you know, I'll definitely make another video in the future. Um, but, you know, until then, I just want to say thank you for, you know, subscribing, liking the videos and commenting and all that. I really hope you guys are enjoying, you know, the new series and uh, all my, you know, Jurassic Park related videos. I, uh, you know, have a lot more to come. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.